Chronic Wasting Disease, or CWD, is the biggest disease threat to North Carolina's whitetail deer population and our state's rich deer hunting heritage. CWD affects deer and related species such as elk, moose, and caribou. It spreads easily and is always fatal. CWD is a slow killer. It takes over a year for an infected deer to show visible signs of illness. This can appear as listlessness or lack of coordination, excessive urination and drooling, and a severe decline in body weight. By the time these signs appear, death is near. CWD is spread easily between deer through direct contact in their environment and is caused by abnormal proteins or prions that slowly build up in a deer's nervous system, eventually causing brain damage and death. There is no vaccine, treatment, or cure. CWD prions are shed in an infected animal's saliva, urine, and body tissues well before the animal starts to show any signs of sickness. Prions are spread as deer move through their environment and can hitchhike to new locations when people transport infected animals, their carcasses, or high-risk parts. Once in the environment, these prions can last in the soil for decades. They can survive fire and freezing temperatures and still infect new deer. Fortunately, CWD prions don't seem to cause sickness in humans, at least for now but the closely related prions that cause mad cow disease have shown they can infect humans. What can we do now that CWD has been detected in North Carolina? Hunters, cooperators, and wildlife officials must work together to slow the spread. In states that have had CWD the longest, hunters are already seeing its negative impact, including fewer deer, fewer mature bucks, and harvested animals that shouldn't be consumed. In some areas of these states, over half of the adult bucks tested are positive for CWD. Hunters in these areas are facing the reality that their hunting traditions will never be the same. Hunters can do their part by following North Carolina's carcass importation laws. It is against the law to import whole deer carcasses or high-risk parts. When importing carcass parts into the state, only transport deboned meat and finished mounts hides or skulls with all other tissues removed. All imported parts must be labeled with your name, address, hunting license number, the state or county where the animal was harvested, and the date of harvest. Whenever possible, field dress deer at the site of harvest and dispose of unused parts so they are out of reach for deer and scavengers. If you see something, say something. Reporting illegal importation of live deer, whole carcasses, and high-risk parts helps keep CWD from spreading to new areas. The best tool we have to fight CWD is knowing where it is and slowing its spread. There is no reliable live test for CWD, so finding it on the landscape means testing animals once they're dead, including hunter harvests. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission is making it more convenient for hunters to help by adding more locations where they can donate a tissue sample from their harvest. CWD testing drop-off stations allow hunters to make donations at any time. Donating a deer head is fast and easy. If you have a successful hunt this season, please do your part to help find and manage CWD. Together we can fight this threat to our white-tailed deer and help preserve North Carolina's hunting tradition for generations to come. For more information about North Carolina's CWD monitoring efforts, including where you can donate a sample, visit ncwildlife.org slash cwd.